As delays and shortages continue to hinder Canada's COVID-19 vaccine rollout, concerns are high that those who got their first shot will have to wait longer than anticipated to get the second. In this week's Q&A with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health, one of our viewers asked whether it was possible and safe to follow up a first dose of the Pfizer vaccine with a second dose from Moderna. So the recommendations are uh, from the National Advisory Committee on Immunization that if you start the series with one vaccine, you complete it with the same vaccine as much as is, is possible. Now, if we run into a place where we will never get Pfizer vaccine back, then you could complete the series with uh, a similar type of vaccine. So right now, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine are both the messenger RNA vaccines. And so if you were in a pinch, you could complete the series with those with the alternate vaccine. But the recommendation is really as much as possible to complete the series with the same vaccine. And the reason for this is we really don't know. While we know that they're similar vaccines, we really don't know that you'll, you know, the, uh, the results. Now, the recommendations are based on expert advice. And it probably will work. But if we have a choice, let's go with what we absolutely know. So as much as possible, complete the series with the same vaccine. What is the criteria to choose which vaccine the person will receive? Is there any criteria? So right now with the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine, they're both of these messenger RNA vaccines. So the vaccines that give you instructions to produce antibodies. And they're, they actually have very similar uh, ingredient lists. They're slightly different, um, but by and large, they're, they're quite similar. And so if you had um, a contraindication to Moderna, Moderna has one ingredient called um, tromethamine, which is uh, if you're allergic to dyes or whatever, then uh, Pfizer might be a product for you in that specific situation. But by and large, 94 versus 95% efficacy, they both work very well. And so um, there's really not a lot of choice that's being offered per se. A lot of it is based on what's available and the logistics of where you can get your vaccine. Along with several more questions about the vaccine, the doctor also addressed concerns about the new COVID-19 variants and how to prevent further spread. For the full chat, you can go to our websites citynews.ca and 680news.com or to go directly to the page, point your phone camera to the code on the screen you see right now and follow the link that pops up. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.